All right, welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WinGet on a down-level Windows 10 uh, operating system because uh, this is something you might run into uh, with uh, the device or what's actually in the image for the device. So. It sounds like a simple task, but unfortunately, there's some issues getting dependencies installed. So I had to go make a custom PowerShell script. Now, that PowerShell script does live in GitHub. Um, now, uh, I'll put a link to that as well as a blog article that goes into more uh, detail about the script and what it's actually doing to install uh, WinGet on a Windows 10 device. In this uh, demo, I guess, uh, you can see that I have Windows 10 and um, We'll do, actually, we'll just do Winver first, just so you can see it's 21H2. If I try to do uh, WinGet, it's not installed. And, you know, if you really want to prove it, I can go back and say uh, the device is fully patched, and yet I still do not have WinGet. So, how do we fix this? One of the ways is to use a script to negotiate all uh, the dependencies. An easier way would be to open your store and connect in and it'll install it in the background. But I mean, if you're trying to deploy it across an organization, you might want to look at uh, the script to go and basically uh, install WinGet on a client. Now, to set this all up, uh, what I've done is I've clicked the install winget ps1 file and it shows me what that code looks like. I can then uh, copy the raw file. I don't need to actually uh, install git or you know git, github uh, uh, desktop client you know it, it doesn't matter. So for this what I'm just going to do is open uh, PowerShell ISE as an administrator and then just open up the script area by clicking over here on the top right to open this up. Uh, dump in what I copied and basically uh, set uh, execution policy to uh, Oops, bypass, and accept that, and then run the script. Now the script does write out a installation log file that you can have a look at. Uh, by default, it goes to wherever the temp variable is set, which can depend on if you're executing as um, a administrative user or a, a part of the system. So uh, keep be aware of that because that does uh, change where this would currently go. Though you could always modify the, the log file to actually um, put out what you uh, want for a location. Oops, I did that wrong here. Let's grab that and just notepad. Uh, oops, I should probably put quotations and paste and then quotations. And then you can see here, give some diagnostic information as to who ran it and what version of PowerShell, which I don't know if is a big deal, but it does give you an output of the installation. So if you're not running it interactively, you get some idea of what's going on under the hood. Um, 
So basically at this point, I have Winget installed and I can go uh, to my command prompt and launch Winget, right? And it's registered with the system. Now, uh, it's basically, it can run without elevation, though I recommend it because most software, not all, but a lot of software needs elevation to install. So uh, for me here, let's just test it out by going winget install and uh, VS code because I want to edit some code. So I have to agree to the source agreement, which is uh, the Microsoft repository it defaults to. You can turn that off, but I'm going to let it do that. And basically, it's going to download WinGet from there and just install it according to uh, the package manifest. So a package manifest is just a YAML file that will basically uh, define some of the installation properties that is used uh, with uh, WinGet. So once we have all that, the application's installed, and if I want to test it out, I can go down here, and you can see VS Code was recently added, and I can continue on, on my journey. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to get WinGet on some of your Windows 10 machines that might not have it. Uh, developers may appreciate this way of getting uh, de dependencies or applications onto their devices, depending on what's in the Microsoft repository. Of course, you can go through some more effort and build your own private repositories, but till another time, we'll leave it at this. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming out.